Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. The audio may suck. You're welcome. I'm Kalina and in today's video we will see how you can handle UVs exported from Marvelous Designer or Quo3D inside another 3D application, in my case 3ds Max. In order to do so, I basically prepared a scene in Marvelous Designer, but it's pretty straightforward if you're using Claw3D as well. So here you can see that my UVs are all over the place and I can always, of course, go to the UV editor and try and adjust them there or just fit them, but it won't do the best fit for my purposes. So what I would typically do in my mixed pipeline where I'm using uh, Core 3D or Marvelous Designer for public simulation and another 3D software for rendering is I would export the geometry and work as an OBJ from there on. In order to do so, let's export just the garment. So I'm going to go OBJ, choose the place on my hard drive and name the dress appropriately. And from there on, here come the magnificent settings. In this case, I need only all of the patterns, I don't need any avatars, and since I don't have buttons or zippers or stitching, I don't need any of those. I'm going to choose a single object because it's easier to manipulate later, unweld and thin because I don't need the double sideness of the geometry the tick provides. Besides this, I'll check the scale to be in centimeters, and as mentioned, we will fix the UVs in another software. Let's export this one. And now let's go into 3ds Max where I will manage my UVs. Of course, this is a pretty similar approach if you are using another 3D software as well. Going into Max, I'll just import my OBJ. Okay, as you can see, it's one object which was our intended purpose. And now we have the dress inside 3ds Max. Let's arrange the UVs in order for them to be easier for us to manipulate. Convert to poly. As you may notice, it comes in two separate materials. This is because I've used two separate materials in Marvelous Designer. I'm using those for the purpose of simulation and now for texturing. It all depends on my choice if I want to make them all in one UV or two separate UV sets for two separate materials. It's super important to know that if you plan on adding the same fabric on different pieces of geometry, they must be scaled accordingly. Therefore, the same tiling of the texture would look the same on all matching fabric pieces. In my case, I'll have the cape of the dress as a separate material and the dress itself as another one. So I'll start by detaching the cape from the main dress. Okay, I think pretty much that's it. I'll delete to see if there is something I missed. Yes, I missed. A very visible part. Okay. And let's detach this one. Okay. So now let's handle the UVs of the both objects. I'll select the object, unwrap UV modifier, or open the UV editor in any other way, depending on the software you use. And you can see that here we have a mess. I find no purpose in arranging this by hand, and it also takes so much time. So what I do is just pack them in the UV editor, I don't relax them in any way. I don't unwrap them separately because in my opinion, even though there may be some stretching, if you additionally unwrap the garment, you end up in a hell on its own. So I just leave them like this. Believe me, for most needs of the garment, this will be totally okay. Let's do the same with the cape.
The most important thing here is keeping them the same size as the same fabric pieces. That's all. We don't need to make it over complex in any other way. Now, if we open a material editor, and add two separate fabrics with a checker map. I'll make this one in a separate color, just to be more visible. Okay. And that's basically all I care when it comes to fabric. That same object has the same scale. From then on, you can use the UVs in any way you like, manipulate them, export them in another software, you can texture them, or render procedural materials inside here. May seem simple, but believe me, this is the foundation of exporting garments from Marvelous Designer or Claude 3D and using their already made UVs inside 3ds Max or any other 3D application. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Kalina. It's a pleasure for me. And you know how the YouTube cliche goes. Like, subscribe, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this approach. Thank you and have an amazing day.